Hi, I'm Matt Hillebrand, one of the principals here at Don's Appliances, joined by James Hayes, one of our team members here in Cannonsburg. Hi, how are you? And today we're going to talk about uh, buying guides for refrigerators. So when you come in to buy a refrigerator, James is going to go through that process. But before we do that, be sure to check out our Hot Buy. Go to donsappliances.com, get the Hot Buy of the week because it's going to go quick. So James, I'm coming in and I need a new refrigerator. Now my refrigerator at home just died. Walk me through the process if you would. Sure, 100%. So the, one of the most important parts obviously is knowing your dimensions of where your refrigerator is going to go. Um, not necessarily the measurement of the, your, your refrigerator itself, but the opening. So the, the width, the height, and then the depth of it. Um, and then also, you know, what sort of style the, the customers are looking for, you know, whether it be a French store or side by side, you know, full depth, counter depth, built in. There are a lot of options for refrigeration and they come in all sorts of sizes. Yeah, so all of those, those terminologies, yeah. French door, side by side, you know, uh, a lot of customers haven't been in the buying pool, so to speak, for sure. many, many years. So a French door would be like a two door on top two refrigeration doors on top, mm -hmm. a freezer drawer below. Yes. Side by side would be a freezer on the left, refrigerator on the right. Correct, yeah. A full depth refrigerator means that it's very deep front to back. Yes, Right, And Absolutely. it'll stick out past your cabinetry quite a bit. Yeah, usually nine, 10 inches. Nine, 10 inches, Yeah. especially for the bigger refrigerators. And then a built-in would be like a really tall unit that's maybe wider and not real deep front to back. That is correct. So, you know, customers that, uh, that have, they want to have that super flush kind of installation where everything is really flush to the cabinet. That is a built-in uh, cabinet depth that will be, sticks out maybe four to five inches from the edge of the counter. And we already touched on full depth what that is. Perfect. And yeah. I, like a lot of times, you know, customers, they're not sure how to measure. So we do have a video on our website that shows how to measure for a refrigerator. 100%, yeah. And it, it kind of goes in line with measuring the opening of, of that area where that refrigerator will, will fit into, right? Exactly, yes. And another thing that, that I always want customers to do is take a picture, right? Yes. Take a picture of their model and serial number right? Take a picture of the opening that, that it's in. That's all super helpful, yeah. And then uh, the other thing too that's always good to check besides the opening of the, the hole is also your doorways getting in and out of the, um, the house, the hallways going through the, your house because just because a refrigerator fits into an opening doesn't necessarily mean it'll go through your doorway. That's so. a great <laughs> point and also talk about if, uh, if we've got any stairs going into the house or Correct. One door or two doors, you know, whatever that may be. Correct, yeah. So those are all, that's all important information to bring to us when you're trying to look for a refrigerator. And I know a lot of customers may live in townhouses or have their kitchens on an upper floor. Mm -hmm. So knowing what the width of those stairwells are is key too, right? A hundred percent. You know, I know we've got houses behind us here in Cannonsburg mm -hmm. that have second floor kitchens. I, I do personally, yeah. So yeah, the, you would have to carry a refrigerator up a flight of stairs and some of these big refrigerators probably would not fit up my stairwell. So. Yeah, so we wanna make sure that that delivery experience goes as flawless as possible. 100%. You know, we've got great guys um, that do a, a great job of, of getting products into a home, but sometimes, you know, we need to, to just make sure that, that we, we get that right piece for that customer. You sure. know, not only what they want, but make sure it fits, right? Yeah, 100%. So what would you say would be like a second floor refrigerator with, <coughs> let's say, maybe a little bit narrower stairwells? What do you think would be a good refrigerator for a customer like that? Um, well, there's options. Obviously, refrigerators come in multiple widths, so most of them are going to be 30, 33, or 36. You know, and like I said, in my personal home, uh, I probably could do with either like a 33 wide full depth up through there, um, or a 36 inch counter depth would work because they're narrower this way. So you could always turn it sideways to take it up the flight of stairs, um, and from there, 
you know, it would really boil down to also, do you want external water, external ice? Because that will kind of limit your options, you know, depending on, you know, the width, the sizes, those sorts of things um, versus, you know, internal options. Um, you know, also color selection can probably limit that as well for you. So, so if I have a bisque, I, I have all bisque in my kitchen, which is like a off cream color. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to have a, a huge selection. Probably not. There's only a few brands left doing it, and it's on very limited models. A lot of those customers are um, they're making the decision to switch to other colors now as well. Black is, if you have bisque, I would probably recommend black if it's an option, um, or just going stainless steel now as well. And one thing that, that I always want to point out to customers is that, because a lot of customers are trying to get a feel as to what's available, kind of what's new, mm -hmm. go to donsappliances.com, go to our in-stock, portion mm -hmm. and look at refrigeration you can see so if your refrigerator is is either not working well or is dead you can go to that don's appliance in stock portion on our website sure and you can see exactly what's in stock and kind of do some preliminary um preliminary research on that absolutely and then come in and yeah you can come in and talk to me and really narrow it down and we even have um you know, <coughs> sales professionals working through the chat section as well Yes, so. and, and with that, you know, our chat is, we're, we're there seven days a week, which is great. And with that chat, they're gonna be from, I think, seven in the morning till 10 at night. I mean, they're available to answer any questions you may have. Correct, yeah, so, and they're a great resource. And uh, like I said, also um, stop into the stores and, you know, get a good hands-on feel for some of the product, because I think that's important as well. You know, and, and just maybe just real quick, why would somebody want, let's say, a particular type of refrigerator, like maybe a side-by-side -side or a French door or a freezer on top? Um, well, there's a handful of reasons. You know, freezer on top could be, um, it could be uh, spacing. You know, they tend to be a little on the shorter side compared to some of the other ones. So if you have an older home, um, you know, they will fit more spaces. Those they're less expensive too, right? 100%. So okay. they're a little bit more economical. Same with the side-by-side. Side-by-side is a good way to get a larger full-depth refrigerator with external water and ice at um, a very economical price point. And, you know, French stores are going to be the more, most expensive of the three options. Um, and they do come in all three sizes as well, 30, 33, and 36. Um, they'll give you more options in terms of uh, internal water options, external water options. You know, usually when you go down to the, the 30 inch models, top freezers and such, they tend to be much more limited in that, that sort of option. Okay, so size, you know, will definitely play a, a role in what style of refrigerator may work because the French door units are, are typically uh, a little bit taller so yeah you know and, and again go to donsappliances.com you can see our measure how to measure for a new refrigerator sure yeah and obviously you can check out our our in stock page on our website or just pick up the phone and call one of our locations sure yeah I'm, you know, I'm here 40 some hours a week I'd be more than happy to talk to you uh, and work out something that will fit your space awesome thank you for listening and we'll see you later